I think as time goes along, uh, man and machine are going to become closer and closer. In John's case, I wanted to make him a prosthesis that was as natural looking and undetectable as possible. I guess about a month or six weeks ago, my wife and I were playing bridge, and we mentioned to someone who was playing with us that I had an artificial body part. It looked like she couldn't believe it, till finally I picked it up and took it off, and she then believed it. TV. This show is about your body. This show is about machines. Actually, it's about where they meet, like in the doctor's office. He calls it medicine. You call it your life. Others call it a job. My name is Clint. Yay! I'm a human guinea pig. I would probably compare what I do to modeling. With modeling, it's a height and eye color. With uh, guinea pigging, it's uh, they're looking for males, non-smoking, 18 to 35, with uh, no history of prostate cancer. If they're like putting some radiation into me, I get a little bit nervous, but that's just part of the life. That's actually what they're paying you for. They want to see if there are side effects in humans, and I'm one of the humans that they check that in. Yeah! The reason I do this is, of course, the quick cash, always getting, you know, $200 at the end of just one day's work, cash, non-declarable. The doctors are getting money for this as well. They're getting their grants done. They're open to anyone, always happy to have a fresh, warm body of the correct specifications coming in to help out. I don't think that uh, they'd give me anything that was too likely to kill me. If it, if it kills too many rats, it never gets to the human testing stage. And take out your blood, put in the drugs, put in the radiation, endure the poking and prodding. There's a lot of disorienting effects when they put various medications into you. The birth control study had a lot of side effects. Yeah! I got really aggressive sexually and physically. That kind of disrupted my social life, but I didn't realize it at the time. You know, I never feel exploited. I actually like having my blood drawn and the procedures being performed, so... Uh, they're paying me to do something that I'd kind of like to do anyway, and this is kind of a good feeling. Doctors can tell you what to take, but they can't stop you from dying. Everybody dies, but it doesn't mean you have to stop seeing the doctor. Welcome to the Alcor Foundation in Scottsdale, Arizona. Alcor is the largest cryonics organization in the world. Cryonics means taking people who have been labeled as dead by today's medical criteria, freezing them at 320 below zero, and moving them to the future unchanged, where future doctors can look at them and maybe fix them up and bring them back to consciousness. My name is Matthew Sullivan. I wish to be frozen in the hopes that I'll become an astronaut in the future. If I don't get frozen, there's no way I'm coming back. So it's the best chance there is. There isn't another option. Well, my name is Mike Perry. Um, I'm excited about the future, and uh, I want to see what's going to happen. I've always been curious about the world we live in, and uh, I see cryonics as a, a way to participate more and, and see more of, of what's going on and learn more things. Right now we have 32 people who are frozen here at Alcor, 32 patients, people we're still taking care of. Stop! Get up! Right behind me are Alcor's giant thermoses, I guess you'd say. Each one of them holds four patients. Basically these people are immersed in liquid nitrogen, which is at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. This is Alcor's operating room. 
This is where we actually perform the procedure that prepares a patient to be frozen. We actually have a surgeon come in, open up the patient's chest, uh, use the large blood vessels around the heart to run a chemical called glycerol through the patient. This prepares him for the, uh, the final freezing process. That was, I think I repeated myself quite a bit. We truly don't believe we are freezing dead people. We feel we are freezing people who have been inappropriately called dead by the limits of today's medical technology. We are saving people's lives and getting them to the future where they can get proper medical treatment. If something happens to me before science and medicine catch up with whatever's wrong with me, I want to have a backup plan. Maybe in the future we can all be immortal. I don't know. Yeah, in the future with molecular nanotechnology, I'll be able to repair my knee and even upload education that I'll need to be an astronaut. Do you think you'll fit in in the future? I have a... I'm optimistic about that. When I came into this world, for instance, uh, I didn't speak the language. I didn't know anybody. Uh, but somehow I was able to fit in as much as I have. Um, I don't know. Some of us don't fit in very well right now, so the future is just problematic anyway. I fit in now, and I'm sure I'll find plenty of ways to fit into the future. Uh, I just don't see that as a problem. If you're going to be alive a long time, you can find ways to fit in. Welcome back to Zoo TV. This show is about your body. This show is about machines. Actually, it's about well-being. To me, the perfect butt would be uh, well-rounded, nicely shaped, and firm. And some people call their butts wide. Some people call their butts saggy. <laughs> It's your first impression and your last impression, and you always want to make a great impression, especially when it relates to your bottom. Here we go. This is the Perfect Tushy by Lovable. We have a wonderful, magic, cross-grain panel of fabric that supports you from the side and lifts you from the bottom. All they have to do is purchase the Super Shaper Brief and you automatically have the butt that you desire. It's all about lifting and shaping and having a great looking shape and sculpting the bottom. The Perfect Tushy has a self-fabric continuous band that also offers a tummy control panel. So you're actually getting your hip shaping, your buttock shaping, and a little bit of a flat tummy look. It gives an entire illusion to the back. It looks real, even if someone would want to touch your rear end, uh, they would never know that you were not, it was not you. Get a lift, a tuck, a boost, and uh, just a little bit of This is going to contour, going to fill in the back part of your pants, lift it, give you a good shape, and it's very comfortable. The reason we think the Perfect Tushy is so great compared to some of the others in the market is we are the only company that has exclusive rights to Power Silk Nylon Lycra. It is totally machine washable, and it's done in a nylon and a spandex. There's a seam right here, so you get great shape in the back. Well, this baby doesn't have back, but if you have back, you might want to try the Loveline's products. They have also developed the front pouch. So that way you look good coming or going. There are something like 40 different machines here. If I work hard enough, I want to get skinny enough so I can wear those slinky pants. It's just a question of commitment, of coming here and working as hard as I can. You can wear slinky pants. That is the mark of a bro. <sighs> I want to get skinny enough so I can wear those slinky pants. You can wear slinky pants. That is the mark of a perfect body. For those slinky pants. All these little chunks of fat. Skinny enough so I can wear those slinky pants. Little chunks of fat to fat. I 
saw this girl at a party, perfect big pants and swishy little legs. She was all these little chunks body of fat, ideal. you know, chunks of fat, slinky cool chick. The fat tucked everywhere. I'm shoving myself into these clothes. One, two, three, four, five, more push-ups in this fat. If I work out, I work out three times a week, three times a week, ten different machines, and then rotate, four seconds, four seconds, maybe even up the ante in the summer, come four times a week, four times a week, not a muscle untouched. Three times a week, ten different machines, and then rotate. I have a simple problem: ratio of body fat to muscle too high. If I work out on every one of these machines, I'll be safe and I'll have my bases covered. I wonder what will happen to these muscles. When I get old, when I get old. The perfect body will not break down. Will meet its pursuit. Will not fall behind. Size 864. It burns and burns and burns and burns. <laughs>